So I've had a lot of clients tell me, you know, things are going so well right now and I really feel like something bad's about to happen. I feel like the other shoe's about to drop. And it's interesting because sometimes when we're doing a lot of work and we start to see that there's some progress or some change, we're feeling a little more at peace, we're having a little more balance or regularity and routine in our days, and things are feeling good, it can be really difficult to just sit in that and enjoy it. Our body goes, wait a second, something's different. You're not preparing yourself you're not getting ready to protect yourself from the bad things that might happen. So when we go from previously a typical state of things happening and feeling like we always need to protect ourselves by continuing the same automatic patterns that we normally do when we're on this autopilot, the same responses, the same routines and interactions with people, our body gets used to that. And then when we start to make adjustments and do the hard work, looking inwardly, making shifts and changes, our body and our protective factors aren't quite used to it yet. It might be looking at something going, whoa, this isn't a safe state to be in because you're open and more vulnerable to things happening to you. And I need to go in overdrive. I need to give you the warning signs and get you back into our normal comfort zone because that's where I know how to function. Those are the defense mechanisms that I have typically used to protect you. So when we finally do the work and we've arrived in more of this, um, this state that can be enjoyable, our body also tells us, uh-uh, I need to, to get you back here. So what happens is we start to produce these feelings in our body to go, something's about to happen. This other shoe's about to drop. And so what we'll do, most people in that situation, is we'll back off in all these, these areas. We'll go back into our old typical way of being to protect ourselves. And the, the interesting thing is, Often when we are trying to protect ourselves, often when we are, you know, afraid something might happen, we, we go back into these, um, uh, these typical patterns that we've always done and responded to. And yes, it can be wonderful and amazing because it has kept us safe, but oftentimes we're missing out on things. When we are, when we have arrived in a safe state, we're in a safe relationship, maybe we're in a more uh, stable living environment, whatever that might be, if we truly are in a safe place, we don't need to have our body overcompensate and, and try to keep us uh, safe and not enjoy this moment. We're actually missing out on these beautiful things that are actually all around us. Um, and so one of the things that we can do is really identifying that thank you body, thank you for showing up and, and having these concerns that this is a new and different state of being and I know you're here to protect me and it's okay, it's okay. Really talking to yourself and talking down those feelings and reminding yourself that it feels different and scary because it is different and it, and it can be scary because we've never really been in this state of being before. And really trusting in the fact that you are using coping strategies or you're learning these, these strategies and interventions that are more healthy to address whatever might come. So some of the more maladaptive ways that we have uh, engaged in situations and um, kind of functioned when, we, when we're doing the deep work, we can also include some more um, helpful and um, positive coping strategies that can really allow us the space to enjoy the moment and thrive as well as continue to pour into ourselves while keeping ourselves state but in a safe but in a more functional way of being um so just because you're doing the deep work it doesn't mean it's going to feel good and easy all the time we're constantly wanting to keep ourselves safe and protected and our body will do all the things to do so but 
when we are doing this work, we also include these strong coping strategies and interventions to help us function in a more healthy and appropriate way and just trusting in that process and really like hand over heart saying, I know you're here, body. I know all the feelings that are showing up, like you're here to try and keep me safe and trying to, um, you know, not let me be vulnerable to some bad things that could happen because they've happened to me in the past. But right now I'm doing some work to, you know, reach this goal and have a better future and to function more appropriately in relationships and within myself and the way I really engage in my life and that doesn't mean it's going to be perfect every time we're going to hit roadblocks and bumps in the road, right? But you don't need to show up and we don't need to continue that same pattern that we used to because as we know, it hasn't really worked properly. It hasn't been functioning and serving you in the way that you need anymore. And so this can be a really good back and forth identification and conversation that you can have.